Hello everyone, welcome to Prativa Tech. In this video, we will solve the problem of the day question on Geeks for Geeks for 26th April 2023. The problem statement for today is sitting arrangement. Let's now open this problem to solve it. Let's go through and understand the given problem statement. The problem statement says you are given an integer n denoting the number of people who needs to be seated and a list of m integer seats where 0 represents a vacant seat and 1 represents an already occupied seat. Find whether all people can find seat provided that no two, no two people can sit next to each other. Okay, so the problem statement is saying that given an integer n which is the number of people and and the integer m denotes the number of seats and uh, 0 represents that a seat is vacant and, and 1 represents that uh, that seat is already occupied. So the task is to find out whether all people, all n people can find a seat with the condition that no two people can sit next to each other. So in other words, so the function whatever is here, it needs to determine whether there are n consecutive empty seats available in the list of seats where no, where no two empty seats are adjacent, adjacent to each other. The function should return a boolean value of true if such a configuration is possible and false otherwise. Okay. So let's go through the given examples here. So the first example says here the number of people is 2 and uh, number of seats is 7. And uh, this seat array is given in this form where 1 represents that the seat is occupied. So seat number 3 and seat number 7 is already occupied. So here the condition is that no um, the people cannot occupy uh, the seat which is uh, adjacent to the seat already occupied. So since this third seat is already occupied, so one seat to the left of it and one seat to the right of it that cannot be occupied because that is the condition given in the problem statement only. Similarly, um, for the last seat, the seat which is just left to it that cannot be occupied. So leaving all these things then we are left with this as 0 and this seat number as 0. So that's why it is saying yes, yes, that number of people are 2 and we have 2 seats possible uh, along with that matching condition of the problem statement. So here you can say the 2 people can sit on index 0 and 4th index, index 0 and 4th index because other index, other index uh, seats cannot be occupied because that will be becoming, that will become adjacent to the already occupied seat. So this was the first example. If you go to the second example, so here, um, here it is n is equal to one, and the number of seats is three. So the seats is equal to um, here, and this is the seat here. So here the output is no, because there is no way to get a seat for the for this. Um, there is no way to get a seat for one person, um, because uh, since we have seats in this this structure. So wherever we try to occupy this n and that means this person here. So either at this vacant place or this vacant place, but this will violate the condition as this will become adjacent to the already occupied seat that is seat number two. So um, with the condition given the problem statement, this um, one person cannot find a seat in with this sitting arrangement. Okay. So I hope the, the problem statement and, and both the examples are clear. So for solving this problem, the approach which we, which we will use is marking the seats that are not available for seating and then counting the number of seats available. If the number of seats available is equal to or greater than n, then we can conclude that all n people can find a seat. Okay. So let me move to this one. So what we will do, see uh, I have taken the first example here. So whatever is the first, uh, uh, whatever is the given input seat array that I, that is there. So what we will do, the seats adjacent to the given input array, if that is vacant, then we will, we will um, mark it as 2. So marking it as 2 will indicate that this seat is not there to be occupied because this is adjacent to that one. So uh, we cannot um, um, make this seat available for any person. So we are marking this, uh, the adjacent seats as 2. Now after marking all those seats adjacent seats as 2, now we see where all places we have zeros. 
so to all the places we have zero we can find as uh, find a seat um, for a person but again while marking while considering those empty seats again um when we will be counting that again if you are occupying this seat and if by chance it happens that in, this is not there in this um, given input but if even the next even the next seat is uh, empty so we have to again mark it uh, mark it it was uh, mark it with 2 saying uh, again that will indicate that addition seat will not be possible so i am trying to say that uh, if somehow it becomes the seat here becomes 0 0 2 1 2 3 4 5 6 so if somehow um if 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 for some input the seats becomes this one that means the seat this and this is occupied so we marked all the adjacent seats so we have three vacant seats here so um, so while um, uh, allotting this seat to the person so when we move from left to right when we get this first seat we will assign to first person then if we cannot assign this this seat to another person because um again it will be the same thing because this will become adjacent to this and this as well okay so even this seat we have to mark it as 2 because we have given the first seat to uh, first seat to one person we will mark the second seat as um, uh, as not available for occupying okay so even this condition we will we will take care so after um, marking all those seats adjacent to each other with 2 we will count that how many seats are available and how many um, such arrangement can be done where people can find a seat without violating the condition which is given in the problem statement okay so with this approach only let's start coding of it i prepared a solution for it i'll just copy it here actually it's a very simple solution even uh, i have tried giving comments against each line so that it becomes very easy to understand so what we are doing see we are having first loop here so the first loop iterates through the um, through the seat arrays and for each uh, and for each occupied seat that is seat of i that is equal to 1 it marks the adjacent seats as 2 if it is vacant that means seat seat of i minus 1 and seat of i plus 1 okay if it is weak uh, if it is vacant means that the seat position will be zero so we will mark it as 2 so here what we are doing if we are if uh, the seat is 1 then we are checking mark the seat adjacent to the left as not available so left of i is equal to i minus 1 that means the index position so we will mark the seat as i minus 1 is equal to 2 that means we are marking it as not available we are having this condition just to make sure that it it, it does not go out of bound the index out of bound that exception okay similarly we check even for the right side mark the seats on the right as not available so for the same seat where seat is seat of i is equal to 1 the seat of i plus 1 if it is within the boundary of uh, um, within the range of m then we check if it is 0 then we mark it as 2 so for the seat occupied what we have done we have marked left uh, left seat as not available and right seat as not available sorry here yeah, this one right seat is not available so after this we will get array as this one this one that means we have already marked the adjacent seat um, for the seat which are which are already occupied okay so, so this was the first loop in the second loop the second loop iterates over the seats array and counts the number of remaining seats remaining vacant seats that is seat uh, that is seat of i is equal to 0 okay for each vacant seat it marks the adjacent seats as 2 as well this is done to prevent people from sitting in the adjacent seats of already seated person marking these adjacent seats as 2 indicates that they are not available for sitting so uh, here we are uh, we have one variable here that is called count uh, that is to count the, the number of remaining seats available so we again iterate over the number uh, over the seat array and we check if seats of i is equal to 0 because in this array we have already marked the adjacent seats as 2 now after that we are checking if the seat is available still available so we are checking if the seat is equal to 0 if that means if the seat is vacant then we increment the count so this will increment the count of the remaining available seat now what we do 
we again do the same thing whatever we did in the previous loop we mark the adjacent seat on the left as not available so here again we are having this check uh, uh, to prevent it going from going uh, out of range so if this condition is true then we mark the seat on the left of it as um, what to say uh, as two and mark the seat on the right side uh, of it as well with two so again for uh, among all the zeros that were left after the first loop we are again following the same pattern when we allot one one seat to a person we 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 mark the seat to the left of it and to the right of it as two uh, making um, indicating them these seats are not available for seating okay even once this this for loop is done then we check if there are enough space available that means or enough seats available for all n person to sit without sitting next to each other so whatever count we we did here that means that that seat we were allocating to a person so we check if this count is greater than or equal to n if suppose there are 10 10 vacant seats and we are uh, we have only two people to um, to allocate the seats so that time it doesn't make an uh, so uh, that time it, it is very easy to allocate the seats so the minimum condition is that it should be equal to uh, equal to n and the best case is that if the seats are extra seats are available then it is well and good okay so we check if if the count is greater than or equal to n then um, whatever is the value we return so if the count here for this statement uh, for this example this one here n was 2 and if the vacant seat here if you look at this example here also it was 2 that means two vacant seats are there so both are equal so yes we can give uh, so two seats are available for the, for two people to sit uh, in the sitting arrangement so that will be so this will turn true okay so that's all in this coding part that's a very simple solution only just iterating over the seats and uh, uh, initially marking the pre occupied seat that is some seat uh, of the pre occupied seat as as not available and after that we again iterate and we try to allocate seats and if it is done then again we are marking the adjacent seats as, as not available and whatever is the seats allocated we just count that and uh, we check if it is greater than or equal to the number of people available so that this this ensures that all people get a seat or not okay so let's compa try comparing this code so here we can see we have got correct output for the given input let's try submitting the solution so here we can see it has covered all the test cases so this problem has been solved successfully in java i have even prepared one solution in c++ the logic is completely same only the syntactical difference if you have anything that is there but in this case it is only vector and array so here also no difference in code as well because both can be treated as an array and we can get the value using index position only so here also the logic is completely same if the seat is occupied then we mark the seat on the left of it and to the right of it as 2 and again we iterate over the seats again and if it is still vacant then we count the number and we again mark the seat on the left on the right of the, the uh, right of that particular seat as not available and we finally return count greater than or equal to n okay so let's try comparing this code so even this c++ code is working fine and we have got correct output for this given input let me try submitting the solution so even this c++ solution has given correct output it has covered all the test cases as well so talking about the time complexity of this provided solution it is in the order of big o of m where m is the number of seats the first loop iterates over the seats in the array once marking the adjacent seats of the occupied seats as not available this takes big of m time the second loop also iterates over the seats in the array once counting the remaining seats available and marking the adjacent seats as not available this again takes big of m time this also takes big of m time finally the function returns a boolean value which takes a constant time so the overall time complexity of this complete function is big of m plus big of m plus big of 1 which is simplifies to big of m only okay so we can conclude that the provided so implementation has a linear time complexity and this is efficient for even for the large inputs 
okay so i'll provide the link for this question and uh, the link for the solution code in java and c++ in the description box please do check that that's all in this video please like comment and share the video and please subscribe to the channel for more upcoming videos thank you for watching